Hey guys, since today was a little gloomy and rainy but a cozy day, I figured let me make something comforting, warm, and delicious. I make this dish probably two or three times a month in the fall and winter time. It is a turkey bolognese and roasted spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash. It's probably one of my favorite squashes actually. Um, the turkey bolognese is super quick. The a roasted spaghetti squash is really easy, but it has to roast for about 40 to 50 minutes. So it's not the quickest. So you have to plan it out in order um, to eat it on time. Um, but if it's something that you are interested in, keep watching. All right, let's talk about the ingredients for the squash first, because the squash needs to go in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. So it's gonna be roasting for quite a while. So you obviously need some spaghetti squash. I'll show you how to cut that. Then to season it, super simple. Olive oil, salt and pepper, onion powder and garlic powder, and a little bit of cayenne or red chili flakes. Um, if you don't like heat, then you don't have to add that either. Um, we're gonna cut it up, get rid of the seeds, put it in the oven, roast that. While that's roasting, we're gonna prepare the turkey bolognese. I'm unintentionally matching the spaghetti squash, but this was, the sp this was the spaghetti squash. I cut off the ends and then I cut it into these pieces. Now I'm going to scoop out the middle and throw that away. Then season the side on the inside, both sides, put it on the baking sheet and bake. So I have these pieces on a baking sheet with some parchment paper. I'm just going to quickly season them. You want to drizzle olive oil and then all of the seasons that I mentioned. There's no actual um, measurements for these seasonings. It's just really what you prefer, but just make sure that they're evenly distributed on all sides. All right, let's talk about the ingredients for the turkey bolognese. So I have a pound of ground turkey here. You need one carrot, one celery stalk, and one onion. I have five garlic cloves. I love garlic. You could do less if you're not crazy about the garlic flavor. Some salt and pepper for seasoning. Olive oil to saute all of these veggies. And some tomato sauce. So I'm warming up some olive oil in the pan. I'm going to add the onion that I already chopped up and the garlic. I'm gonna let that saute for a little bit and then I'm going to add the carrots and the celery. All of the veggies are going, just a few more minutes and I'm going to add the turkey. I added the turkey, just want to break it up a little bit, saute it for about one to two minutes and then add the tomato uh, sauce. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I have these two jars. You want three cups of some kind of marinara tomato sauce. And then season that with some salt and pepper. And if you want some heat, you can add some. Uh... I have the sauce going here. Now I'm going to cover it and cook it for 20 minutes on medium to low heat. Just stir it not every now and then. Um, you don't want it to burn or stick to the edges. So the spaghetti squash is done. It's still super hot, so I have my mitt on. But just to show you, the way you know that it's done is when the actual inside of the squash comes apart like this. And if you see, it's like little tiny like angel hair pasta. And so I'm just going to shred this with a fork and then put it all in a separate bowl. So here is the spaghetti squash all broken up. As you see, it has little tiny spaghetti looking pieces. I feel like it's more like angel hair rather than spaghetti. And then I have the quick turkey bolognese and that is done as well. So I'm just going to plate that and then top it with some nutritional yeast for some cheese. For Jack, I'm going to put some Parmesan.